Okay, so hey there guys. So today's video is going to be a very super exciting first impressions. Get ready with me with the brand new Odin's Eye Hummingbird Eyeshadow Palette. And this is in collaboration with one of my favorite YouTubers, The Fancy Face. I cannot tell you how excited I am for The Fancy Face, aka Tina. I am so proud of her. I actually have met her once and we've chatted here and there. And I am so freaking excited for her to have a collaboration with Odin's Eye. I think that this is amazing. And I'm so excited to create a look for you guys. As soon as I saw that um, she was one of the collaborators for this new Legendary Diversa collection, I knew I had to pick up her palette. And then I also ended up picking up the other two palettes in the collection like two days later. So... The first one came today because I ordered this one separately, but the other two are coming soon. But obviously, I want to try out this palette first so I don't get too overwhelmed. But we have gotten quite a few eyeshadow palettes this past month. So I cannot wait to dive into this. First off, look at this outer packaging. I love this outer <coughs> like book cover because they have been kind of changing up the layout of their palettes now and now they kind of come like little books and I absolutely love this. I feel like this is just telling a whole story and the whole experience that you get with the palette is just makes it so much more genuinely exciting. I mean Odin Dye's packaging was already stunning before this but I love this new format of the palette so Let's stop chatting and let's dive into this guy. So first off, look at this packaging. She looks gorgeous. She looks like a hummingbird goddess. And I love it how she has like the feathers on um, for her clothing. I think that like the, the wings, I think that's so cool. And then it says the hummingbird palette collaboration with the Odin's eye and the fancy face. So that's freaking awesome. And then when you open it up, there is a little mirror with this beautiful, like, hummingbird print. And it does say Tina on the inside. And then when you open it up, this does fold all the way back. And then it does have a plastic covering. So once you take that off, here are your 12 eyeshadows. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. Isn't it so freaking stunning? I love this so much. So I'm super excited to dive into this palette. So this palette is quite shimmer heavy. So we are going to create, we are going to use as many sh shades as possible from just this palette today because I'm going to do probably a warm autumn kind of look. So I'm really excited. Okay, so I put my hair up so we can start doing a look with this guy. And I'm also really excited because I also picked up this Odin's Eye set. Oh my god, one of my friends is um, messaging me about picking me up or because I'm going out with my friends in like an hour. So I have a good hour to film, so should be enough time. Um, but I also picked up this brush set with the palette. I kind of was like super intrigued to try out their brushes and I think that this is such a nice set to try. So we're going to go ahead and try these out with the palette. I'm really excited. The palette just came yesterday, so I have not used it yet. I've just swatched it last night, and the shades are freaking stunning, so I'm really excited to try out these brushes with it. So I'm going to start with this big fluffy crease brush. This is going to deposit the color, I think, really nicely. These are also super, super duper soft. So let's just jump right in, you guys. I'm super excited. I'm going to use most of like these mattes today. I kind of want to do like a orangey crease, like orangey red crease with like this burnt red to define it. And then this purple on the outer corners. Don't worry, it's going to come together. So the first shade we are going to go into is called Hibiscus. I'm going to pick up as little as possible because I have a feeling this is going to be super pigmented. So look at that. I just barely dipped my brush and it's already pretty saturated with the color. So we are going to try this out. I already primed my eyes with the Anastasia eye primer and then I just put my Dewdrop uh, ColourPop Luxe lip oil on my lips and then I just set it with my Dior Backstage Face Powder. 
And now I'm just going to jump right in to this color. Oh my god, I need to realize that this brush is a little bit bigger, so I kind of have to just get it right in my crease area. But that is depositing the color so nicely. And that is a crazy amount of pigment just dipping my brush once into the pan. Like, I barely went like this, and that's how much color payoff you get already. So, I knew that the shimmers were going to be stunning, but these mattes, I knew they were going to be super saturated with color. And honestly, I don't know if I want to build it up any more than what I have on my crease right now. So let's just do the other eye real quick and then I will decide whether or not I want to build it up a little bit more. So I'm going to take this on the other side as well. And I'm going to blend it out in my crease here. Oh my god, it really does deposit so much color. That is insane. And this brush is so stinking soft. My eyes are a little bit dry. My eyes were kind of a bit irritated yesterday because, um, I think because of the spot cleaner that I use and also because I've been trying a lot of new eyeshadows, so, or new eyeshadow palettes. So my eyes are kind of going through the gigs right now, but I took my makeup off around like 10 last night, so I should be okay now. It's like 2 o'clock now. And I just like soaked my eyes in Vaseline, like put as much Vaseline on as possible. Okay, I'm going to take, I'm going to try and take a little bit more and just build it up a little bit more. Um, but I don't want it to be too overly pigmented. And I do like how this brush diffuses the color really nicely. Yeah, that's all I want. So I'm just going to take it again, just a little bit. There is absolutely no kickback from this which is also really really nice too i am getting zero kickback um tapping it off or blowing it off with my breath so i think that that's really nice so that is the first shade so far i could sit here and blend this out for 10 million years but obviously we are not going to do that so i really like how that looks so far i think that's all i'm going to do for that shade and now i'm going to take another one of the Odin's Eye brushes. I think I'm going to take this smaller one because I want to use this to like define my crease. So I'm going to take this brush if I could get it out. I'm not going to take the the other fluffy crease brush. Um, God, this is driving me nuts already. Let me just see how this one looks though because I don't know if I want this one instead. I mean... This one's still, I mean, we could use this one and then just take the smaller one on the outer corner. So I think I might use this one just to define the crease. Okay, so for that shade, I'm going to take this burnt like red color right here. And it's called Red Hills. Did I say hibiscus for the first shade? Because the first shade I took was hibiscus. So now we're going to take Red Hills, and again, I'm going to dip the tiniest amount. Like, let me show you guys how little that I'm going to take. Like, literally, like, like this much. Maybe a tiny bit more. That's it. That's all I'm picking up. So, you guys really don't have to dig your brush in these. They're going to be super pigmented. Actually, I feel like this brush is going to be too big. Let's wipe it off, and <laughs> we're going to use the smaller brush. You never know until you try, so you got to try something first. Again, I'm doing it very, very lightly, and then I'm going to tap it off. And I did notice a little bit of eyeshadow coming off my brush, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Again, absolute, absolutely no kickback in the actual pan. Just a little bit off my brush, which is what I would prefer rather than having eyeshadow all over the pan. And I'm just going to use that to define my crease area. This one I'm going to build up a little bit more because I noticed that just since this brush is so soft, it is diffusing the color beautifully. Just it is blurring it a little bit more as far as the pigment that I want. But I think that might be 
all I want, to be honest. That is so pretty. And then I'm going to take it on the other side and do the same thing. Don't worry, I'm not going to bore you guys too much with my face. I'm going to do that off camera and then come back and finish the eyes. So we're not going to spend the entire time here just boring you to tears watching me blend my eyeshadow, but that's really okay. We have quite a bit of time, so that is beautiful. And again, that color is depositing really, really nicely. Do you see how that transformed the look? See how like just two shades, oh my god, these are blending so beautifully. And the thing about Odin's Eye is that they're, oh my god, this brush is a little bit slippery because it is so soft, is that their mattes, there is just something about their mattes that looks so gorgeous on the eyes. They are just so soft and saturated and like super smooth on the eyes, like just beautiful. I'm going to take a tiny bit more and I'm going to build it up just a little bit more. I do want this shade to be pretty deep in my crease. So I am going to just build it up a little bit more. That is so pretty. Oh my god, I love that. That's really pretty. Okay, so once we're done with that shade, what I'm going to do is take this purple shade right here, which is called Star Apple, and I'm going to put that on the outer corners. I learned that these colors were really pretty together, like red and purple, from um oh my god look at that pigment oh my god i don't know if that's too much let's just see oh that's pretty oh my god that is so pigmented you guys wowza so I'm just going to take that and build it on the outer corner so I learned that this shade of purple is very complimentary with reds and oranges from Angelica Nyquist when her Club Nebula palette came out. She did this beautiful look with the reds and the oranges and the purples in her palette and she used the purple in the reddish look that she did on the outer corners and she said purple is a really beautiful color to deepen up like red, red tone orangey looks and it really is really pretty. So that's why I got the idea of doing the purple on the outer corners and she is totally right. They are really beautiful complementary colors together. So I'm just going to take that and build it on the outer corners. That is so pigmented though. I think that's all I'm going to do and then I'm going to do the same on this side. Oh my god, this purple is something else. It is beautiful. So I'm just going to build that up here. That is so pretty. I am so excited to try the shimmers in this palette. Oh my god. I know it's going to be gorgeous. I mean, when I saw this palette, they are three very different palettes. Like, for Judy, they asked her to create, like, a fall palette. I feel like Annette's palette is very wintry vibes. And I feel like this one is like spring-summer vibes, especially a summer palette. But I feel like with this, as you can see, you can get a really nice, deep, like burnt red, purpley, fall-toned look out of this palette as well. So it's very versatile, which I do really love as well. Like at first, when I saw this palette, I wasn't really sure like what looks I was going to do because... It is very different for me and kind of out of my comfort zone, but that is the fun of makeup, is to get out of your comfort zone. And I think that's exactly what she wanted to do for when she created this palette, is just get people out of their comfort zone and play with some color. So now I'm going to put on some glitter glue and then we'll jump into the lid shade. I'm so excited. Okay, so I just put on my lid shade. I'm not gonna look up though because I don't want the glitter, to, glitter glue to transfer to my crease. So I'm gonna go in with this like orangey shimmer on my lid and it's called Swallowtail. And I'm going to take that stunning orangey shimmer and I'm going to put that on 
my lid again I just don't want the glitter glue to transfer I think with these type of shades just dragging it across your lid is probably the easiest way to deposit the color since these are a little bit more glittery I also am going to take a brush today and probably spray it because I want to try some of these flat brushes with um from that came in the Odin's eye set oh my god now I'm really getting some of the pigment and I'm going to apply that on this side too that is so stunning wow but yeah you do have to just pick it up a little by little but in the end they are super pigmented and sparkly shimmers That is so pretty. I'm getting such Halloween vibes with this look right now. And what I love about Odin's eye shimmers is that they're super sparkly and just look wet. And they're beautiful. I might not even have to spray this. It's already like building up beautifully. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this look. I think it's so pretty. I really like this. Okay, so I don't know if I'm even going to have to spray this. Let's see, what brush do I want to use with it? I want to use like this flat shader brush right here. This like packing brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of that shade just a little bit i feel like it's gonna pick up so much with a brush and i'm gonna take my mac fix plus i'm just gonna spray it a little and let's see how this that's really pretty oh yeah that definitely helped that's gorgeous and I'm going to take a little bit more and spray it again. And I'm going to do the same on this eye. And also, I can tell I'm not even getting that much transfer of the shadow to the crease even though it's a glittery shade i'm not even getting that much transfer which is actually really nice so wow i'm super impressed with this so far i'm gonna pop on some hear me out and just do my base and then we'll come back and do the rest of the eyes okay guys so i went and had a snack and when i did my face makeup i'm a little bit um just upset with my blending a little bit around this area. I'm going to try and blend it out a little bit with no product and see if that helps because I just feel like this side is not as well blended as this side. So let's see if I can just... Because like even just not putting any more of this shade on my brush might just help diffuse it a bit better. Okay, I think that is a little bit better. We're not going to agonize over it. Sometimes that happens, especially when I'm using a new brush. Like, I'm not sure how it's going to, you know, have my eyeshadow blend out. Sorry, I just ate some guacamole and chips because I was getting a little bit hungry. So my friend isn't going to be at my other friend's house until like 4 now. And I started getting ready around like a little bit after like 2 like 2 15 2 20 so it's already been like 40 minutes so i was like let me eat a little snack before she comes because we're going to get tacos and i'm so excited so to prime my face i use the mac fix plus um cucumber spray and then i just uh primed with my milk hydro grip primer as usual and then i went in with one of the fancy faces favorite foundations or i think this is one of her favorites she's used it quite a bit in some videos but i also love this foundation too and this is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, and I have mine in the shade 1.00C. Love this guy. 
And then I think she likes this found this concealer too, but this has one of been one of my newest concealers and one of my newest favorites. Um, is the Cover Effect Power Play Concealer in the shade um, N Fair 2, which I also love this concealer as well. Um, and then for my under eyes, I just used my Pat McGrath powder, which I think she's mentioned this as one of her favorites too, but you guys know I use this all the time. And then I got this powder because of the Fancy Face. You guys know how much I love this one too, the Dior Backstage Powder. I use this like every day to set my face makeup. It's like the only setting powder I need. Okay, so now let's go back into the palette. And I don't know if I want to use any of these on the lower lash line. I usually just use my... Color pop brush, which is this one right here. This is just like the best one for me to do like defining uh, lower lash line colors and also on the inner corners. It's just the most small and precise brush that I have. So that's what we're going to use. Um, so for the um, lower lash line, I think I'm going to do that after I do the inner corners. So for the inner corners, I really want to take this shade right here called beach sands I was also thinking about taking tropics with this but I don't want it to be too colorful today I just want to take this color and put it on the inner corner so that's what we are what we are going to do this is a pretty glittery shade too but I think it's going to pick up really nicely and just look really pretty on the inner corners so that's what we're using Yeah, that's pretty. And I'm just going to build it up a little bit more. I might have to spray this shade too. Just because I want it to be even more shimmery. It's still really pretty dry, but I think if I spray this, because again, it's a little bit more of a glittery shade, I think the pigment will come out even more with spraying it. But I did have, the guacamole was a bit peppery, so it was a tiny bit spicy. So I feel like it kind of made my nose run a little bit, so that's not like the best. And it's always after I finish my eye makeup is when my nose starts running. I mean, not my eye makeup, my face makeup. My eye makeup wouldn't really matter. Um, yeah, that's really pretty. That is very pigmented, though. Almost a little bit too pigmented on my inner corners, but it's okay. I think that was my fault. I brought it a little bit too far in. Hmm. I think I want to take my fingers, actually. Let's see. It's not picking up exactly how I want it to be. Hmm. That's a lot, Caitlin. All right, let's like tone that down a little. I took a little bit too much. I'm gonna try and tone it down a little bit because it's not real. Oh my God, can I not drop my beauty blender, please? Um. Yeah, that was a little bit of my bad. I took a little bit too much. But I can just fix that with the lower lash line shade. Okay, so for the lower... I'm going to fix it off camera. Don't worry, it's not going to stay like that. So for my lower lash line, I think I'm just going to take this color and put it all underneath my eyes. I think that's going to be really pretty. So I'm going to take that. And put that on the... Lower lash line. Oh, that's so pretty. Yes. So, we have a bunch of shows to watch tonight. Um, again, you guys are probably not going to see this until like a week or two from now. Because um, I have to upload my haul first before I upload this video. And I'm going to have a lot of um, 
That is so nice. That mat is just, it's stunning. These mats are beautiful. Um, but anyway, Friday nights are like our show night now because we have a few Apple TV shows that me and my mom watch together that come out on Fridays, like The Morning Show and Ted Lasso. The Morning Show is so good, you guys. So good. And Ted Lasso is just hilarious. It's become a huge show for Apple, so... If you guys have Apple TV, I highly recommend both of those shows. They're both great. Um, uh, the Morning Show has a great cast with Reese Witherspoon, um, Jennifer Aniston, and Steve Carell. So it's really, really good. Um, they are just about to get into lockdown of last year of what happened with COVID and how the news networks like didn't report on it at first because they didn't think it was much of a threat. And then they're going to go into lockdown, I think, this episode. So I'm really excited for it. Um, not that that wasn't a horrible time, but I feel like that this is like the first show that's really going to go firsthand into what happened at the news networks. And I feel like it's going to be really interesting to watch. So it's really good. And then Ted Lasso is just so, so, so funny. Such a funny show. Um, so I'm kind of thinking about echoing... That purple that I put on the um, outer corners, and I'm thinking about using a purple liner. I think that'll be really pretty. So I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs um, gel, cream gel liner in the shade Grapevine, and we're going to use that because I think it's going to be really pretty. Um, just going to apply that. Hopefully it'll be pigmented. All right. Let's just wipe it off a bit. Yeah, that's better. Way better. Oh, yeah. I really like that. That's pretty... Um, and then also on Netflix, because we're waiting for all of our other shows to come back on Netflix, but they're not coming back till next year. Um, the only show that has come back on Netflix is The Baking Show, The Great British Baking Show, which me and my mom and my brother are like obsessed with. So the next episode is tonight. The first episode was last week. So very exciting. Okay, so that looks really pretty. I like that. I mean, I do have an orange liner, but it's kind of a little bit too vibrant right now, and I kind of like those fluorescent kind of colors more so in, like, the summertime. So, like, these darker colorful eyeliners I like more around this time of year. So I'm just going to pop on some mascara and then we'll finish up the face. Okay, so now we're going to finish up with the face. I just applied some mascara and lash primer. I used my L'Oreal Voluminous Primer, which I use all the time. And then I just went in with the Marc Jacobs um, Velvet Noir Mascara. I found this one at Marshalls for like, I think, 7 or $8. So pretty good price. And then um, I just used my... Um, Maybelline Lash Discovery on my lower lashes. I love this mascara. It's the closest dupe that I've found for MAC Extended Play's Giga Black Lash. It's just such a great bottom lash mascara. It's like the only one that I use. Okay, so now for um, bronzing, I'm going to go into my Dior bronzer. I love this one, especially for this time of year. I love how like cool tone this is for right now. Um, so it's perfect for the fall time. As you can see, the Dior embossing has already worn off. I've been using this a ton. It's just such a pretty, like, soft bronzer. And I really like it. I have, like, mascara all on my fingers <laughs> from that mascara. But the, the Marc Jacobs gave me quite a bit of volume today. It was a little bit clumpy, but I can get the clumps out of it pretty easily. And it gives some really nice volume and length. 
but I'm loving this eye look. I can't stop staring at my eyes. I think it looks so pretty. The old, I mean, I already knew they were going to be stunning, but I think this is one of the best collections that they've ever done. And their formula, their eyeshadow formula, is one of the best that I've tried this year. I would say it's like in my top three besides Lethal and Beauty Bay have been like the three eyeshadow brands that I've just been so blown away by. They're just amazing. Is that enough bronzer? I guess so. Okay, so I would have used my Odin's Eye blush, but I kind of want to use something a little bit more orangey today. Um, just because I really have been wanting to whip this blush out for a while. I am still going to use a couple of Odin's Eye products to finish up my face. I do have an Odin's Eye blush that I freaking love, but I really want to use this Becca blush. So this is the Becca Luminous Blush in the shade Tiger Lily. This is such a beautiful orangey blush, so I'm going to take that and apply it. I haven't used this in so long. And if I want a blush to last when I go out, it's going to be Becca or NARS or Pat McGrath. They last such a long time and they have such a super saturated color. Like that was me only dipping in once and now I'm just dipping in one more time just to pick up a little bit more products. But it takes me forever to blend out my blush sometimes. I blended out a lot better on this side than I did on this side. I want a little bit more. She pigmented, but I don't have to be that careful with it. Becca blushes are really nice and buildable. But I haven't used this in so long, so I wanted to whip it out and use it. I, it's been sitting in front of me for weeks, and I'm like, I need to use it. So I went so blush crazy this past year. I kind of want to pull out some of my older ones, so... That one is so pretty. Love that. Okay, and then for the highlighter, um, I'm going to use my Odin's Eye Solome palette. I love this highlighting palette. Their highlighters, again, are so beautiful. Um, so I'm going to mix a couple of shades today because I really want to use two of the shades together. And I might pop on some of it on my inner corners. Um, but I actually really love how the inner corners look now as opposed to without the lower lash line color. So I think that's so funny um, that like the lower lash line like helps so much like diffuse the, the colors together. So this is what it looks like. I mean, it's so, so pretty. And I'm going to mix these two shades together called Soul and... I don't know how to spell the other, uh, spell, how to pronounce the other one, so I'm not going to try to. I'm going to start with Soul and see how I feel because these are so beautiful by themselves that sometimes, I mean, I haven't even mixed the shades yet because these shades are just so beautiful on their own, but that might be all I need, but let's see. I knew when I was ordering at first with Odin's Eye, I knew I had to pick up at least one of their highlighting palettes because like the packaging and everything, the aesthetic is just so, it's just like the, you can really tell they put in so much effort and just like everything about the brand gives me like exciting fantasy vibes that it's like I just can't wait to see what they come out with next but I definitely feel like they're going to come out with even more next year I feel like next year is going to be even better I mean this was already amazing with this collab and there's so many good products already but I feel like they're just starting out and I think they're going to blow us away so I'm really excited um so I don't know if I need any more to be honest, it looks so pretty, but I think I am going to put on a little bit of the golds. Just because you guys know gold is my favorite. 
I mean, I love, like, champagne-y kind of highlights, too, but gold, like, has my heart, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that, too. Oh my god, they look so pretty together. I am giving myself quite a glittery mustache here, but it's okay. That's the life we live. All right, so I think that is good for highlight. That looks so gorgeous. That gold is so pigmented, though, that it almost overtook the peach underneath, but it looks gorgeous. So that's all right. I'll take it. Okay, so now we're just going to do the lips really quick. I've been spending 10 million years on my makeup. I just want to be done. So I just set my face with my Milk Makeup Set and Refresh. I love this so much. It feels so hydrating on the face. It's just, I love it. Like, just, even if you're not into setting spray, it just adds, like, such a beautiful, like, refreshing, hydrating feeling to your face. And it's just, I live for it. It feels so good. Because sometimes you feel like your skin is just a little bit, you know, um, dry when you're done with your makeup that you just want something that's going to refresh it. So it just feels so good. So I'm just going to take my ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. I've been kind of just into using clear brow gel lately. I've just been getting lazy too, to be honest, but clear brow gel just does the job. And then I just need to pick out a lippy really quick. Okay, so now let's go ahead and finish off with the lips. So I'm going to take ColourPop's Minute Man the line Okay, and then for my lips, I'm going to use the ColourPop Matte X lipstick in the shade Who Run This. I'm going to do it pretty lightly. I was going to use a matte liquid lipstick, but I was like, uh, these are pretty close. I've been obsessed with the um, Matte X Lip Formula ever since I tried it. So I was actually really excited to have more of these in the mystery box. This was like one of the only products that I was really excited for in the mystery box because I wanted more shades. And it's just so good. Such a good formula. If you're not into matte liquid lipsticks, these are amazing. I'm just going to finish applying it off camera. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. Here are the eyes. Look how that shimmer sparkles. It's just so gorgeous. The cheeks and the lips. I am so happy about how this look turned out. It is absolutely stunning in person. I highly recommend one of these palettes, even if you're not into one of these YouTubers. I think that you should go check at least one of them out. They all do fabulous, beautiful looks, and they really do inspire me to step out of my comfort zone, especially the Fancy Face and Annette's Makeup Corner. But this video is about Tina, and I just wanted to say she smashed it with this. I think that you can create so many different looks with this palette. I think that I could create a beautiful, like, blue tone look for winter. I could do so many things with this. I mean... I got the other two palettes, especially the Annette's Makeup Corner palette, I think will pair really beautifully with some of the shimmers in this palette. Um, but Tina's goal with this palette was to create um, like a pop of shimmer palette to pair with other palettes. This is more of like a 
a companion palette to go with other palettes in your collection or like you don't have to get all three of the Odin's Eye palettes like I did. I just did it because I want to support all three of them. I also love Annette's Makeup Corner, but I've been watching Tina at least for a few years at this point and I just absolutely love her looks. I absolutely love her channel. She is just like so inspiring. I love her eyeshadow. Like she does some of the best eyeshadow on YouTube I've ever seen to be honest. And she just does gorgeous looks and I can't imagine anybody else being more perfect to compare to compare to collab with Odin's Eye than Tina. It just made so much sense. And I was having a feeling that this is who she was working with because she did tease us earlier in the year saying that she did have a collab coming and I was like, it has to be Odin's Eye. And I was right and I just think she did an amazing job and I'm just so happy and proud of her and I just think that this is awesome. But this is not just a summer palette. You can create a warm toned eye like this and it's such a beautiful fall look. I am living for this. The, uh, today's October 1st, so October is really like the first month of fall for me. Like September, I'm still like in summer mode, but right now I am in full fall mode and I whipped out the, whip sh the plaid shirt and everything today. And I just love how those look turned out. I think it's gorgeous. And congratulations, Tina. I think that this is so awesome. And I'm so happy for you. And I think you created a stunning palette. I cannot tr wait to try the other two palettes from these three beautiful ladies. I just think they did an amazing job. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at speedw819. And check out my Poshmark at the same handle. I love you guys. Bye.